Hi, I'm Tammy Joe with another WPI Technique. Today we're going to show you how to set up and zero the 900A Micropressure System. WPI's model 900A Micropressure System is designed to measure pressures from minus 200 to plus 400 millimeters of mercury in small blood vessels, cells, and other electrolyte-filled microcavities. Connect the 7-pin cable on the pressure pod to the connector labeled pressure pod on the front panel of the control unit. The 900A active probe is packaged in an anti-static bag because it is sensitive to electrostatic discharge. Connect the probe to the connector labeled probe on the front panel of the control unit. Connect the tip of the 900A active probe to ground using a banana to 2 millimeter pin adapter. Use the CKT ground connections, which should be electrically connected with the chassis ground by a metal strap. Connect the power cord to the receptacle on the rear panel of the control unit. Plug into the wall socket. Connect the reference electrode from the Cal 900A, or the experiment, to this ground terminal marked CHAS on the front panel of the control unit. Place the loop status in the zero set position. This maintains a pressure of zero millimeters of mercury in the pressure chamber. Set the damping and sensitivity controls to the 12 o'clock position. Set the electrode resistance dial fully counterclockwise to zero. Set the offset switch to the off position. Set the pressure switch to off position. Then turn on the power and let the system warm up for 15 minutes. Now we can zero the pressure pod. Do not apply any pressure or vacuum to the pressure pod. Insert a screwdriver into the recess on the pressure pod marked XDCR0 and turn clockwise or counterclockwise until the digital meter on the 900A reads 0.0, .0 millimeters of mercury. Then we need to re-zero after pressure and vacuum are applied. Make sure the system is still in zero set mode. The sources of pressure and vacuum for the 900A pressure pod should be regulated to approximately plus 350 millimeters of mercury for the pressure and minus 150 millimeters of mercury for the vacuum. It's important that the pressure and vacuum sources supply clean, filtered, dry air. Air that is not clean and dry damages the piezo valve, which is costly to replace. The pressure and vacuum may be regulated to pressures other than our suggestion. However, it is crucial that the pressure side always be of a greater absolute value than the vacuum side, and that there is a minimum of 75 millimeters of mercury difference between the pressure and the vacuum sources. Connect these related pressure and vacuum sources to their respective input ports on the pressure pod. Block the two micro pipette port on the pressure pod. A finger can be used for this operation if it's held firmly against the port opening. While the port is blocked, insert a screwdriver into the recess marked pressure on the 900A front panel and turn clockwise or counterclockwise until the digital meter reads zero millimeters of mercury. If you need any help with your 900A system, just give us a call.